All right, developer's log. So let's look at Scanomatic. Um, still working on that name, of course. Uh, Scanomatic version 1.0. Um, I did a developer's log on it, and then 2.0 finally got to me, and then I put all the components on it, and then ran it, and it runs amazing. Okay. So the difference between the two is now uh, there is a five volt regulator on it board, so you can have one power supply instead of having it all the time hooked to a computer. You could still change the code on it, of course, but you do not need to. You could just run uh, the one cord. In um, that way, it has the ability to switch between the power source being the adapter or the power source versus the computer. Okay, program switch. Not much has changed other than that. I wanted to try to challenge myself and to have that hooked up. I am going to change one more thing. There's going to be a 3.0. Uh, 3.0 works just like this. These buttons need to be moved down here. And the reason for that is case. Okay, so if you ever wanted to make a case for this or have a case developed for it, there is one issue. These are too, this one is too close to the components for that case to work out. Because there would probably have to be a fan here or something um, in order to keep this cool inside a case. And this button being so close, you wouldn't have an opening for those buttons to work quite well. Uh, another thing you have to kind of consider is there's a, a rather large heat sink on the stepper mo or stepper driver itself. You can see the height of it. So that would end up either poking out of the case or a really thick case. So it's a really interesting case design because of that. You could uh, mount the stepper motor driver onto the PVC. This allows you though the way I have it to change this out um, if you ever want to do that I don't know why you would want to do that but I like I like the ability to change these out myself so you have two options you can not use the plugs like it's got the headers you could just mount it right there in the PVC very sweet so that resistor right there is going to go up here these two buttons are going to go down there uh, it still has the ability to use both uh, the power supply or a jack that you could put in, a barrel jack, uh, 2.1. It um, has the ability to plug the stepper motor into the terminal or a plug component. I might have prototypes on sale. So when you go to purchase these, or when you go to buy PVCs on, uh, when you get them made, you have to do 10 at a time. So uh, I have 10 of these PVCs that work great. Um, you just have to have this one always hooked to a computer and the power source. This one you just need a power source. And this one right here, you wouldn't be able to make a case very easy for it. Um, you still could, but you would have to be pretty crafty about it. Eventually, I'm going to be developing a case for it that you can 3D print. So, other things that's changed in the development, um, I, I'll try to cover that too. So, lighting. Lighting's a 300 watt fluorescent bulbs. Uh, they need to be fluorescent for the fact that you, you, they cancel out a lot of the shadows that occur in the background. Uh, so fluorescent bulbs are becoming quite rare. If you are thinking about uh, getting into this, I would grab two 300 watt fluorescent bulbs before they go off the market. You can still find them in mom and pop um, hardware stores, but they are not at Lowe's Home Depot anymore because they contain the mercury. Who knew, right? All those years. So that, those are needed. You can still have a direct light like this. Okay, but these work at a different, these work at a frequency. These, this is an LED and a frequency um, that is not very friendly for cell phones. So you, 
you'll see the little banding that occurs from LED light. Fluorescent, you won't see that banding. So because it's fluorescent, um, it cancels out IR light. So what you need to do now is mount your IR uh, right on the camera itself. And, you know, like I have this kind of a shield so the, the, the light from the fluorescents don't cancel out the IR light. Because 300, 300 watt uh, fluorescent bulb is pretty bright. It'll knock out IR any day of the week. Okay, stepper motor, uh, I'm using a NEMA 23. I like that one the best so far. I have a NEMA 17.9, and I don't like it as much. I was able to scan um, this huge orchid plant. Like, I could just put this whole orchid thing, okay? I just put that whole thing, the plant and the pot in there, and I scanned all of it at the same time. And it handled it quite well, even with, uh, all you do is have to adjust the code to um, have a resting point because when it rotates, the plant starts moving and then it needs a resting point. So there's only two things that you need to change inside the code if you do that, if you choose to scan that level of organic. But sticks, rocks, I, I did a bear skull and it turned out great. So As long as you can find a tub, these are those big tubs that you find at a hardware store. And I also mounted something here just in case I need a backlight for certain things. That's so far, really cool. I mean, like, you don't, you couldn't even possibly imagine, like, how much challenge there, it's not the challenge, it's like, you wanna see what it can do. And with, when it did the organic, orchid um, I was pretty confident uh, that it's about 90% complete as far as the setup is concerned so that's developers log 2.0 keep out for updates hopefully I'll have a release in the spring coming up before everything starts growing so hope you enjoyed